welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Um, I'm Sophie Cook and I thought today, I woke up early, I was like we're going to get some videos done, we're actually going to upload to YouTube <laughs> more than once a month. So um, I created this look um, inspired by Erin Rose um, by a photo I saw last night. She put like green on the inner corner but I actually forgot until about just this second. Um, but yeah, so I just done this little look. Um, I'm also filming a haul today so I think this video will go up after that. So if I'm wearing the same thing, I apologise. <laughs> I film this right after. Um, but yeah, if you like this makeup look, then just keep watching. Hello. So I basically have just done this eye kind of off camera. Um, it could have come out a bit brighter, not going to lie. Um, but I thought I would just quickly, because I basically saw a photo, I'll try and um, insert it, of Erin Rose. And um, she kind of just done this last night and I was like, oh, let's try and do that, shall we? Um, I've kind of just, I don't know, I don't know, I probably could have done it a lot better, um, my technique, as you will soon find out. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to give it a go, bit smoky, bit black, bit dark, and then like still colourful, do you know what I mean? So basically I'm going to take first my Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in 8.5 for um, my base and I'm just going to, sorry if my mirror gets in the way, just go in, pat this all over the lid Getting off my lazy ass. Joking. <laughs> um, I'm filming because I haven't filmed. I haven't, um, but mainly because I've had work um, or just things have got in the way. So I just haven't been able to really. Um, okay, so first, now that that's set, that's well. Leave it tacky, I haven't powdered it, as you've just seen. <laughs> um, I'm going to take first the Beauty Bay EYN in Nude, and I'm going to take... Ooh! What am I going to take? Take a hike. I'm going to take that first. I'm going to take that on this Beauty Bay little brush. They don't have numbers, which I wish that they did. So I'm just going to take a lot of that, just pack this all over the lid. These colours are honestly so pigmented. Like I was trying out a um, like brown smoky eye kind of shimmery thing um, last night and they're just so pigmented. Like even all of the shimmers, they're not just shimmers, they're like boils um because I'm normally not a fan of shimmers they don't suit me but I was thinking for other people um when I start to book in some clients I want to get used to shimmers but they're so like thick and really 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 nice I want to get better at like winging out eyeshadows because I think it looks really nice like it makes the look look a bit more dramatic so if this eye comes out bad, sorry, because <laughs> I think this eye came out quite um, good, like it's quite just seamlessly blended. So I just started by just getting a bit of the dark colour and just making a tiny bit of a wing, just like baby, a baby wing. And then I changed to the other Beauty Bay palette the EYN Bright Matte. So I'm going to take in Hot Stuff, which is just a bright red. And this is actually a really, it's got a slight bit of pink to it. But this is probably one of the best reds I've ever tried because reds, if you use makeup, you know, like super, super hard to get. Not chalky and not, like they all just come out a bit shite. Um, but there's like three reds in here. One's a bit darker, but this one's like really fluorescent. I'm 
just going to pack that on top of that colour. I'm just going to go back in with the other brush. Now I'm going to take uh, this other Beauty Bay brush. Honestly, they need to give them names or numbers. Um, and I'm going to go in with Heat Wave, which is a... It looks like a bright orange, but it doesn't actually come out too bright on the eyes. So it kind of just looks like a... Unless it's just the brush that I'm using. Actually, I'm going to change over to this Zoeva 230 pencil brush to do it. Just to pack it on and then we'll blend with the other brush. They're very small eyes, so it's hard for me. Like, I see all these people packing on so much, like, colour onto their lids. And I'm like, like, all this three-cut crease trend. And I'm like, how do you have so much lid space for that? Like, I mean, I have a large lid part, but then I don't have... I have to bring up my dark colour really high. <laughs> otherwise, you're just... Otherwise, you're just not going to see it. <laughs> Like, I have such hooded eyes. I'm just going to go back in with Hot Stuff, the red shade. Just blend that a tiny bit more. And then back in with Heat Wave, but with this bigger brush. Just to start diffusing. Any lines? Or oh, have you not seen Molly Mays come back on social media? Mmm. I don't understand what the hate was about. Like, I don't understand all this, like, death threats. Why? I don't get it. Like, what? I also don't understand why people thought she was in there for money. Like, wait, where did that come from? It's not like she said something that spurred everyone on. Like, literally all of my timeline was just that. And I was like, how? What is she... Like, I understand if they were saying that about, like, Maura. Like, but I loved Maura. I wanted her to win. But Molly, I don't understand. Do, you, do people not understand that she got asked into the show and she probably thought, yeah, it's a good opportunity. And she also um, could probably make that in about a week doing her old job. Do you not realise that she was? She actually had quite a lot of followers. She could actually, she was doing very well for herself. She probably had that much money in the bank account, maybe more, prob, prob, most likely more. She doesn't need, and she wouldn't even get 50 grand, she'd get 25. She, that's, I don't think people go in there for the money anymore. It's not to do with the money. I think people actually forget there's money. But Anton, pfft. You know, he's on, he unfollowed Molly May on Thingy, and apparently he says it's not. But apparently it's because, obviously, Molly uh, voted them out. Tommy also voted them out, so why are they kicking off at her? Um, and I just think, what a... If you care so much about someone voting you out, when you, you also voted someone else out, so, you know, can't be having a go at them, my friend. They had to choose someone. Um, you left with someone that you actually liked and you could see a future with. That's what part of the show is. Why are you so pissed off that you didn't make it into the final? Like, if you care that much that you're not in the final, then clearly you're in there for the wrong reasons. You don't just kick off that you're not in the final. Like, why would you want to be in the final when you've literally found Belle? You found a girl that you really, really like. That's what part of the show is. So I just, I think he was in there for money and everything he'd say would just be, um, he would say things like, to make people like him, like he literally was caring about what people thought about him 24 seven. And 
just pissed me off. I'm just going to go in with a black. I'm just going to go in with illicit. Um, both palettes have this colour. But yeah, I... And then apparently um, Joanna was saying... She said it in a jokey way, so obviously it's like true. Oh, this one's come out so much brighter than the other one. <laughs> um, yeah, Joanna said that when she came in, you're not allowed to tell anyone what the public kind of thinks of them. You're not going to say like anything that's kind of like happened and stuff like that. Um, but he straight away went up to her and was like, oh, how many followers do I have? Why have you gone on, on there to, what, to get followers? That's a bit sad, isn't it? How many followers do I have? So I don't like Anton. I don't understand why people like Anton. He really, no. No. I think he's a bad egg. Even though the show's over now. I don't care. I don't, I don't get understand how people like him. Touch up his other eye because it's not looking as bright, is it? No. Oh, we got my hamster a cage. Oh, look how bright that looks compared to that one. One looks really, really dull. Mmm. Normally this eye turns out better, but I think this one has this time. I'm just going to start trying to wing this because it's kind of gone a bit um, patchy up on this section. And I'm just gonna slightly. And I always take the wing too far. Like people just go, ooh, ch -ch -ch. but I take it too far. I kind of just smoke it everywhere, and I think that's what ruins it. Just gonna take a clean, big ass brush. See, that one looks better there. You know, trial and error, trial and error. You just gotta keep practicing. Keep. Pra I feel like though. This is such makeup now. When I used to do it, like post photos in 2017, they were really shit photos. Like it was bad makeup looks, but I would get kind of a lot of likes. Well, not a lot of likes, but you know what I mean? Like more than I would kind of do now if I posted that. Like if someone posted that now, they probably wouldn't get any likes because honestly, some of the looks I done were shite. Um, but now, it's such a saturated market that you have to really try hard, like try a lot harder because so many people do it and I kind of regret not consistently posting. I do regret not um, like starting my YouTube channel in 2015 when I wanted to but I was obviously in school and people in school are just bitches aren't they? But yeah, what I was saying, Hugo's not got a new cage, my little um, hamster, bless his little heart. He was running around it yesterday, he was slightly a bit too fat for it, but... <laughs> right, I'm just going to now go onto the face and like come back to the eyes and sort out some of the eyes in a minute. I'm just going to be looking into this mirror here. Just taking this nippy, I don't really want to show you what it looks like because it's <laughs> covered in foundation. It's the Nivea Daily Essentials Oil Free Moisturising Day Cream in for oily and combination skin in matte, and it's really good. Like, if I stop using this, I get so many spots and texture. My voice is really um deep and kind of husky. Well, for me. Today. I think it's because I've just woken up and I have work today, oh, three till midnight. But it's quite good because I'm not working for the rest of week, the week apart from Friday. So I'm going up to Wales. Then I'm just going to take the, oh, all of my products are dirty, like I really need to clean them. The MAC Strobe Cream in Silver Light. Because even though I'm oily, you like a bit of glow in the right places. Also, this just smooths out your skin, I found. Like, it really, really does. I have probably got a better mirror than this one I'm currently looking in. Wait for that to sink in. How's everyone's summer going? Mine is actually literally... <laughs> mm. When I say I've...
been drunk for the whole of summer. I genuinely mean I've been drunk for the whole of summer. Like, oh, oh God, it's been, uh, since Ayanapa, so I was basically drinking all of Ayanapa, obviously, went straight to Mallorca, was drinking every night in Mallorca, came back, went, no, we went for drinks after Ayanapa. Was I sick then? No, I wasn't sick then. Then when I came back from Mallorca, went out in Bristol, got too ill, got sick. Next weekend, ill, sick. I have been currently thrown up for about six or five weekends in a row. It's just really bad. Like, it's probably really doing something bad to my stomach. But I just can't... All alcohol is making me just throw... I think it's because I've been mixing spirits, wines, cocktails. That counts as spirits, Sophie. And beers. And I went... When I went to Wales last weekend, I think, I, um... I'm going to do this once I'm doing my makeup. I'm just going to wash my beauty blender. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take a mix of my Rimmel 25 hour. I normally, literally, this is... Oh, am I running out of you? I am indeed. This is such a good foundation. Like, I will use normally this mixed with a bit of this, um, the Revolution Concealer Divine, and a bit of the L'Oreal Lumi. But I've, my mum's got the L'Oreal Lumi because ran out of mine um so i'm just gonna quickly drag the revolution on my face and it literally will stay on all day sweating not sweating it's so good but yeah so basically i went to um wales and how many points did i have six seven pints and I'm a small person, <laughs> and I'm a little cocktail, but I don't count that. And I was <laughs> sick three times in this pub, twice when I got back, and two times in the morning. I must have seemed bulimic running, because this toilet was like um, outside, it was like a, in like a shed kind of thing. Yeah, I must have seemed I've just been chatting to you whilst just this on my face. I must have looked like I just <laughs> had food and gone and been sick from it. Um, but that food was lovely. I normally don't use a brush, but I'm just going to attempt it. Because I normally use this brush when I'm doing like no makeup makeup and I'm just blending in concealer. So I thought, let's give it a whirl with some foundation, shall we? I'm just going to go over that with a beauty blender. And then once all of that is blended in, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me and just go under my eyes, being quite careful because we wind out. We don't want to touch that. Yeah, I've worked today and honestly, like it's a nine hour shift. It's not like too bad, but the last two hours are the slowest hours of my entire life because there's nobody really that comes in like a lot of people then come in at about 12 but I'm the only person um in there um apart from the night shift person from like 11 till 12 that hour just drags because it is literally just me and the person who's on nights it's just ugh. unless it's someone that I like then it drags I don't think tonight it's going to be someone I like. I think it's going to be the old woman. I can't imagine doing nights either. I was debating it and... No. Imagine doing... Oh, I've just got a black mark on my nose. Imagine doing... 10 at night till 6 in the morning. Not for me. Not for me. Can't be bothered. <laughs> like, it's quite good, but then you're just tired for the rest of the day and then you can't do anything. And then if you do that the next night, then you just, no. No, no, not for me. Right, so I'm just going to take my Stay Matte Powder and this little dirty puff. What did I used to call it? Uh, powder puff? Powder puff. And really bake. My face. 
well not bake it but I basically apply I think this is also why my foundation lasts a long time because the hack is I used to think I was weird for doing this and then Patrick Star started doing it and I was like I'm on the safe wavelength here me and Patrick Star um, and I literally pat this white powder sometimes it does it does make my I do need to get a different powder make this is a really good powder but it's in translucent but it does make you a lot whiter and kind of gray like if my foundation looks gray then this is kind of white it does then like after about two hours once your oils oil no oils once your oils have kind of started then it it's like fine I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder that into my under eyes so then I take a I don't know what this brush was I think it was like a oh eco tools and it's really it used to be soft but now it's so dense let's do back up the Laura Mercier because I don't want that going everywhere and then I just take a tiny bit more of that stay matte powder this is why it's good to make your foundation I kind of make my foundation I, I made it match me today which I shouldn't have done because then this powder really lightens it up. But honestly, if you powder your entire face, I mean, don't if you're super matte, <laughs> if you have really dry skin, um, but I have oily skin and also the foundation that I use, the Rimmel one. <clears throat> My voice um, is quite uh, tacky and stuff. And after a while, um, I will start to get really oily, like literally after about a couple of hours. Then I found if I do this and if I um, use, mix it with the Revolution all night, like I will get a bit oily, but I'll just pat and it will stay looking good. So I'm just going to take this Zoeva 231 brush and I'm going to go in with Heat Wave, that orangey. Um, I've already got brown on this brush so I should have probably washed it but we'll just rub it on the arm <laughs> I hope it all goes well yes I'm basically going to you could make this look from the P. Louise palette because the P. Louise palette is has basically got the same shadows oh wow Okay, so Tangerine Dream from this palette is way more pigmented than the actual, than that bright orange I used. Do you know what I find about the Laura Mercier powder? Is that shadows don't blend well on top of it. Like, now, if I was just using the stain matte underneath, they, they would just blend out seamlessly. But for some reason... This one doesn't allow it. But this Tangerine Dream from this palette is basically like Chickadee, which I've been mean I want I've been on the hunt for a chickadee shade. You know the one from Makeup Geek? I look scary, I look like a vampire because I'm so white right now. Um yeah. So it reminds me of Chickadee, which is good because they've stopped doing chickadee. I'm just gonna take hot stuff on this 230 Lux pencil. Which I don't understand why they've stopped doing it because like that's their popular shade, same same as the most of their shades and Beauty Bay have stopped stocking Makeup Geek and I messaged Makeup Geek like why and they they said like they're rebranding or something like that and it's like why rebrand when all of these were popular like yeah they may not be selling that much but that's because they're eyeshadows and once someone's bought an eyeshadow like mine's lasted two years but now I want to rebuy I can't um, I'm just going to go in with Take a Hike on that same pencil brush. Just layering the colours. I'm going to take the Hoola Benefit Bronzer on a Morphe M530 brush. This is so um, spiky and coarse and horrible now. I need to get another one because I've had this for about two years. I'm not a massive fan of... I'm just going to be looking in this mirror to the side of me. And then I'm just going to take my... Mary Luminizer by The Balm 
on a Morphe M501 brush. And slap it on. And then I'm just going to take this, I can't put it up because it's broken, but it's just a Ben Nye pressed colour palette. And I just use this for blush. I just use one of the colours. Blush. Blush doesn't really matter to me as long as it shows up. I'm just going to contour my big nose with this little brush and my hula slightly because oh my god in winter wow my nose contour is really intense like really I was using this really dark bronzer and I can't get over how weird my voice sounds and um, a really dense brush it was oh it was just awful whereas now I just slightly do it just so the highlight because the highlight kind of goes everywhere just to kind of give it a little something i'm just going to do my mascara um off camera and i'll be back okay guys this is the finished makeup look i've just put on some lashes and i've done my lips um if you're wondering what i used on my lips i just use a <coughs> brown uh, eyebrow pencil because i can't seem to find a nicer uh lip liner um i used jeffree stars i'm nude and then i used the maybelline Superstay liquid lip thing in Undressed I think or something like that and then I used the I used a lot <laughs> the L'Oreal um, Apocalypse in nude eclipse, which isn't available anymore. You have to get it on Amazon and Then I also used the L'Oreal just clear lip gloss um, To get this matte look I've just done my hair uh, I was going to curl it because I never wear my hair down anymore because it's summer, it's just too hot and also my hair's too long now, like my hair's literally probably mid bum length, um, so I've just been tying up, it's just too greasy right now to put it down, um, but yeah, this is the finished makeup look. <laughs> I feel very grungy, I really want to go to work like this because I used to go to work like this. But yeah, so if you liked this video and like me doing makeup tutorials, then please give this video a like, please comment down below, um, follow me on all of my social media, and thank you so much for watching! Thank you!